going to uh, share my screen. I hope you can all hear me well. So um, what I wanted to, to do as a Kickstarter for our, our virtual uh, event, uh, which is our yearly event in the AI for Lamb community, is maybe to say a few words um, about uh, this community, just to introduce what we are doing to uh, whoever would be there tonight and, uh, well, today. Uh, and uh, would not be uh, familiar with what, with what we are doing uh, in this community. So as you probably know, uh, AI for LAMP stands for Artificial Intelligence for Libraries, Archives, uh, and Museums. And uh, it's an informal community, so it's not or not yet a consortium with a formal membership. Uh, if you want to be part of this community, you just uh, come to the events and subscribe to whatever communication channel we have. Um, either uh, on the, the, the mailing list or uh, the Slack or whatever. Um, and well, just about uh, how this community came to, uh, to birth. So it all started with the first conference in Oslo in um, 2018, which was uh, named uh, the Fantastic Futures. And the idea at that, at that moment that was brought forward by the National Library of Norway and the Stanford University Library was to um, investigate how AI and machine learning is going to transform uh, the library sector uh, by making so many things possible that were not necessarily uh, in the past. And very quickly, uh, they thought uh, of extending uh, this uh, interest for AI to uh, nearby communities, so museums and, uh, and archives. And uh, in 2019, uh, the AI for Lamb Secretariat was formed uh, with uh, more institutions, three more institutions, National Library of France, the British Library, and the Smithsonian Institution. And these institutions are still today the ones that are uh, operationally making things work. Uh, then uh, we had two more Fantastic Future conferences, one uh, in Stanford in uh, 2019, and one in France uh, in the National Library uh, in 2021. You obviously can see that there was a year without a conference, and I sure you guess why. Um, but also in 2020, we started to have uh, virtual events, um, the monthly community calls that you are very welcome to join every month uh, are a series of uh, discussions and lightning talks uh, by members of the community. And uh, we also had some workshops online um, last year. So this is not our first virtual event, but it's, it's the first one we the first one we do this way exactly. So in terms of governance, how we are working as a community. Uh, so I mentioned the secretariat, which is which is a small committee of members. Uh, who are making uh, things working on the operational level. So we are meeting every month. Uh, we also have a council with uh, several councillors who give advice on the content that we want to push forward in the community. And you have uh, their names and we'd like to thank them again for uh, being uh, part of this uh, community. And uh, we do have now uh, Deirdre uh, who welcomed you to this uh, room and who is uh, acting as our communication officer since a few, a few months now. And uh, on this slide, uh, you can find uh, all the links uh, to the main communication channels that I mentioned earlier. Uh, if you would like to, to join the community. So what are you going to find in this community? We have several groups that are uh, pretty active. Uh, so we have uh, working groups on topics like uh, metadata, uh, teaching and learning. We have a registry working group who is working towards uh, creating um, a registry of projects and data sets and data models uh, on the AI for LAM website. Um, we have a community reading group, uh, which is a more uh, informal uh, group uh, dedicated to uh, sharing uh, reading experiences. And one of the group has, has uh, finished their work and is now retired. We also have two chapters. So ch chapters are 
kind of sub communities uh, inside the community that address a specific uh, area uh, of the world uh, or a specific uh, type of uh, of people and uh, we have two chapters at the moment one for the australia and new zealand uh, region which uh, often have um, more difficulty to join uh, the, um, the community calls and other events because of the time zone issues. Uh, so uh, it's been a very, a very active community and we're happy to have some of their members uh, here tonight in real time. Uh, and the French speaking chapter is the newborn of the family because it was created very recently. Uh, and uh, there, the idea is to have a community of people investigating AI for libraries, archives and museums, but uh, um, addressing uh, the issue of uh, a language that is different uh, from, from English. So you can find all these activities and the descriptions on the website. And uh, when I share the, the slides, you have the, the read more um, link uh, that, you, that you can click to, um, to go to our, our website. So in terms of what happened in the community and what we have observed during this uh, three or four first year of working together is that uh, it all started by um, enlightenment interests uh, across the glam sector and um, the realization that we had some proof of concepts in some organizations um, but uh, and a lot of interest, but not a lot of practice. And uh, in particular, um, we could see a maturity of this type of technology uh, in the outside world that was not necessarily reflected uh, in uh, in the glam sector. So really, the idea at that time was to to try to raise awareness and encourage more experimentations with AI. Um, in, in GLAMS. And then the next year, it already uh, started to be a little different uh, in the conference, in the second uh, Fantastic Future conference. Uh, we saw a lot of inspiration from private sector, from artists, from researchers, um, a lot of use cases also, and a real uptake of, of the topic. And in 2021 in Paris, uh, of course, it was a smaller conference because we still had COVID issues and many people were not able to travel. Uh, but we also uh, could see that the projects were starting to evolve uh, towards industrialization. So it was not only experiments, but uh, actual articulated uh, strategies in, in, in some institutions that led towards uh, having AI as in business as usual uh, in our organizations. Um, so um, this is what we took from the different conferences, but um, if you want to discover uh, what happened more generally in the community, uh, you can definitely go uh, to the community calls page uh, on our website. And uh, we now have a YouTube channel uh, where we um, stream all the, the, the lightning talks and the different uh, presentations that are shared. Uh, in the community, including the ones that we are going to have uh, today. So uh, on the slides here, uh, you can see some of the topics that we have addressed in these community calls, and they are listed on the website. So if you want to see things uh, in this area, you can, you can just check this page. Um, and we also had a lot of uh, reflection and realizations in the domain of uh, teaching and learning. So uh, it's a very interesting topic, uh, how you increase the skills uh, of the staff that are going to uh, to, to do some machine learning in, in GLAMS and uh, what tools do we have for that. So um, we have a lot of resources on, in, that, uh, in that area too. Uh, I can't detail them because I don't want to be too long uh, today. Uh, so, um, also, uh, what is uh, uh, going to happen, and how can you can you contribute? So, um, if you would like uh, to uh, to participate more actively in the community, you can contribute to the registry on the AI Forum website. So, if you want to present a project, for instance, you can just add it. It's uh, it's a participating uh, registry. Um, if you want uh, to propose a talk uh, or a demo uh, to um, to a lightning talk, uh, you're very welcome to to do so. Uh, you can also uh, review uh, the training resources that I just mentioned, 
or a proposed uh, working group or a chapter. And of course, this year uh, the conference is online, but uh, we very much hope that we will uh, be able to gather again physically next year, uh, and we will uh, have a, a host uh, for our for our conference uh, in 2023. Uh, so thank you. That's all for me today. And if you have any questions, you can definitely uh, put them in the Google Doc. And of course, I will also share the link to these uh, slides. Thank you very much.